Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on this special day. Merry Christmas to those who do celebrate and hopefully Santa brought everybody a little something that they've been hoping for throughout this whole crazy year and hopefully next year will be a much better year for all of us. Yeah, so today I'm going to be reviewing um, my December BoxyCharm. I get the base box which is $25 and a lot of the products that um, are on my face today I did get in my box so if you want to see how I came up with this look stick around and if you are new welcome thank you so much for joining me and if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time I do upload a video. Okay, guys, get ready for some interesting and beautiful products that I did uh, find in this box. But first, go grab your cup of coffee or glass of wine, and we will hop right into this. Yeah, so let's just get started. I got my uh, December boxy charm. I just get the base box here. And what it is, is a subscription. Uh, it costs $25 every month, but you get a lot of products, you know, good quality uh, name, brand, name brand products, and they're full size. And usually it's way more than even $100, the value of these boxes. So um, I did peek at mine. I'm not doing a surprise opening this time because um, I just wanted to look. The eyeshadows that I have seen are way out of my comfort zone usually. Um, so I wanted to kind of look at them and see what I'm possibly going to do today. And I still really don't know. So, but let's just get into it. Um, I just, like I said, I dig a, a, a Huda Beauty and it's the Ruby All Obsessions. Um, and it looks like this here. These are the shades. And yeah, they're just really vibrant and pretty. This usually retails for, looks like $27. And here's the little card that it came on. It's called Bubbles and Glitz is this month's theme. And uh, let's see what else we got in here. I also got, I believe it's called Elemis. It's a superfood glow priming moisturizer. So it um, also can work as a primer from what I understand. And it does have like a little... A glow to it so um, this might look really nice or look nice under matte foundations I don't know how this is going to play with uh, foundations but it looks like this and uh, yeah it's just in a plastic tubing and um, has this kind of applicator so we will definitely be trying this out today as well and then I got oh what does that retail for that retails for $49 What's up with these primers costing <laughs> this kind of money? Holy Moses. Okay, and then I also got the Ofra Banana Powder. And um, it looks like, boy, I'm getting a glare today. Oh, that's very nice. It's a nice hard container, you know, nice and boxy, very pretty. Um, banana Powder, from what I understand, there's a mirror in there as well. Banana Powder is good for brightening. Um, so I'm going to try this under my eyes today to see how much that does brighten up. And this banana powder is $35. So yes, you see what I mean? These are full size products and they're not, um, cheap products either. They, they do cost a little money. So we're getting a lot of, uh, nice quality pot products for 25 bucks. And I also got the E. Louise, I think I'm saying it right. And this is the Get Lit Metallic Foiled Liquid Eyeshadow. So it comes in this pretty packaging here. Oh, isn't that a pretty bottle right here? Very, very pretty. And let's see what the applicator looks like. So it looks like just this kind of applicator. And let's swatch this and see what this looks like. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is pretty pigmented, you guys. So it looks like that. So yes, I will be trying that as well today. I, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but <laughs> we're going to figure that out. As to, I always do things on a whim here. Um, and then also I got, oh, how much was that? That was $28 for a topper or, you know, some sparkle. Hmm. Okay. And then I also got the matte MAC lipstick. And this is in Rouge. Uh, I don't know these French names something rouge something <laughs> and let's see what this uh shade looks like and this is what 
uh, the packaging is. And MAC is, a, I know, that's they've been around for years and they always have great products. So let's see what this is going to look like. Oh boy, that is pretty. Yeah, that's a red. It's all right, you guys. So let's just get started and get into it and say goodbye to Santa. This will be the last time we see this background. Uh, yes, again, it is uh, Christmas. So those who do celebrate Merry Christmas and hopefully everybody gets what they had asked for. And Santa was good to all of our all of us. We've been good. We've been patient. We've been. <laughs> sitting around and being a, we couldn't do anything really much bad so <laughs> but I think I am going to start with uh this shade here and we're just going to start laying that down and I'm just going to go in very lightly like I said I do not know these formulas um it seems very smooth right now there's not really any grabbing or skipping um yeah these are nice so I'm just laying it down in my crease at this point with a, you know, just a smaller brush here and just kind of laying down the foundation of what I'm going to do. This is a nice transition sh shade. It's coming out as a peachy um, color here. So I got in a little bit laid down and going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and just kind of try to move that or blend this out a little bit and I'm going to build up slowly today because I'm not sure like I said what all these are going to do so at this point right now I think it's a very nice formula and I do like that shade okay I'm going to go in and get a little bit more and I'm just building up the shades here going back in with my fluffy brush that is clean and now i'm just trying to move that up more towards my brow bone okay so that's where we're looking right now i have blended it all as much as i think it's going to blend so I will say there is a lot of um, pigment when you first put it down. Um, I felt like it was a little harder for it to fade up. Um, you know, like, uh, how do I explain it? Like when I'm buffing, you know, it just kind of to get it to go lighter as it moves up. I felt like I did have to do a lot of blending, but it's very pretty. And like I said, when you first put it on, it goes on very smooth and buttery. Um, it just, yeah, you do have to blend it out if you're looking to kind of soften the look as you move up i wasn't taping so i'm going to recap of what i just did <laughs> i went into this burgundy shade here and i just did circular motions here in the corner and that's what it came up in this look and then i started moving on to the other side and that's when i realized i wasn't recording so i just tapped my brush in i uh, using the same brush i used my transition after cleaning it and now i'm just going in and doing the outer corner with that same shade and I'm just laying down a little bit and then I'm going to go in with a clean brush and just kind of move that around so these are blended out very nice um, I'm getting a nice you know it's not um, blotchy or anything like that there these are very nice shadows Okay, so that's what we're looking so far. And I'm going to try to just use as much as I can here in this palette. And then there's that, you know, it's like a black, or deep purple. You know what? It's a plum. But it does have some shimmer in it. So I'm just going to take that and lightly just darken this outer corner up just slightly. Maybe I need a different brush. It just wasn't doing too much there. So going with a little bit more, I'm going to add a little bit more product. So Okay, now I'm just going to go in and just kind of soften that outer corner up a little bit with that. I'm just using all the same brushes here pretty much and cleaning them when needed. And I think I'm going to take, um, trying to decide what shimmer I want here. And I really like, you know, these two here are really 
light, but I think I'm going to just do something different and go in with this middle one here. And it looks like that. And I'm just going to go in the middle here. And it's pretty pigmented. So now what I'm going to do is take um, a little bit of the blah, another plum shade on this side and just soften the edge here. And then on the other side, take that burgundy shade we were using and bring it into that shimmer and soften that. I think I'm just going to take that original transition shade, uh, this one here, and I'm just going to go very, very, very lightly above all of the shades we just put in. So I just went in very lightly, tap it off my brush pretty good. And I'm just going right above that. And now I'm going to clean off my brush again and just go and soften what I put down. Okay, so now I just want to see what this other shade does. I'm going to take my little eraser brush that I love and I'm going to go into this shade here, the lightest shade. It's not, you know, it's coming out really light here, but there is a peach to it. So I've added um, some to my brush and I'm just cleaning it off now. And I'm just going to go right around the edge up here. And around the sides. Oh yeah, that worked really nice. That blended it really pretty. You know, there's not any harsh line. Um, it just kind of went whoo. And I'm now just going to go in and line my um, upper lid with my Glam Light, my fave. Let me flip over my mirror so I can have the 10 times so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, there was some slight fallout, nothing crazy, um, but there was, and I'm going to have to take a makeup wipe. Uh, usually I don't like doing that, but I don't have my moisturizer down here. Um, what I usually do is put my moisturizer, what I use on my face, on a Q-tip and then take it off. That way you still have your um, moisturizing products on your face. I'm basically wiping away all my uh, face products here. And I do not like um, these. That There's so much alcohol in them. Okay, so let's go in with this new moisturizing primer. Okay, so let's go in. Oh, I think I put too much. I put that much. That looks like a lot. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my palette here just in case um, I do feel like I need more. And I got a little burn curling my hair. Yeah, and I do go back in with some more, um, just a little bit. And I think this is all I'm going to need. And I'm just going to add a little bit in between my eyes and down just the uh, bridge of my nose. I'm not going to do the tip because I don't want that to be too shiny. And it went on um, pretty smooth. Um, there's no stickiness to it. I'm a little worried. I hope there's no silicone in here or something that's going to um, interfere with the foundation. Like I said, it feels very nice and it would be nice on a no makeup day um, because it does have that nice glow. But um, I am a little nervous. So I'm, I'm today going to use um, Becca. It's foundation I found at TJ Maxx, you guys, and it's the real stuff. So, um, and I've had no problems with it. It's super light. If you guys seen that video, um, <laughs> way too light for me, but I do have, um, you know, those color adjusters. So that's what I love about those. You can buy any shade basically and make it your own. Okay. So let's go into putting on foundation over this primer moisturizer and let's see how it plays together because um, sometimes they do not <laughs> do well together. Uh, I think that's what happened in my last video. Um, I 
used that elf that I really enjoyed, but then I used it with a different primer and I didn't enjoy it so much. So uh, we will see. I'm going to spray my brush here and it's just the elf uh, foundation. And I'm going to spray it with my NYX um, Bear With Me. And I just like wetting my brushes, especially with this foundation. It is a thicker formula. Okay, so now I'm going in with my sponge and I'm just kind of smoothing things down and I'll add any more product if needed with my sponge. Um, at this point, it looks like it is doing well together. So I'm not seeing any, uh, any problems at this point. I will let you guys know, like I said, in the box down below to see how it lasted through the day. Um, I have used this foundation before, and it did last pretty nicely all day. So, um, yeah, I will keep you updated on that. But as of right now, I'm not seeing that it, it created a problem. You know, it felt, you know, pretty nice on the skin. I mean, is it life-changing? Mm, no. <laughs> Unless my makeup really does look very nice throughout the day. Okay, so I'm just going to go off and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back and we will try um, the banana powder and the lipstick. Okay, so I got my um, concealer on and I used my uh, Clinique one and I also used my e.l.f. Brightening Flawless Concealer under here. So, yep, same routine as I usually do. And now let's go in and try this banana powder. Like I said, I really love this packaging. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of product like I always do. And I'm going to tap off my brush. And it looks yellow on here, so let's hope <laughs> it doesn't come off yellow under my eye. Oh, it's pretty. Do you guys see a difference between this one and this one? I, I have a hard time because it's so far away for me to see. But um, I think I do see a smoothing effect. So... Let me take a close look here and see if it looks cakey. No, it comes out very smooth. So, um, yeah, I like, I, I'm liking this. I'm hoping, you know, I continue to. Uh, we'll know throughout the day if it starts looking cakey or creasy. Okay, so uh, let me know if you guys see a difference. Okay, so I went off and I did finish my eyes. I put on mascara and falsies just on the outer corner. I like to cut mine pretty much in half and just use it on the outer corner a lot because my eyes are very small and squinty. So if I use real dramatic, my whole eye gets lost in those. So I, I know I wish I could, but I, yeah, so I just end up doing the outer corners. Okay. So I uh, bronze, and what I've been using lately is um, this Koki uh, palette I have, which is also acting as a contour and a bronze. During the summer months, I get pretty pale, so I try to stay away from the more orange-looking bronzers. I, I just, I feel on my skin, it just, I look very orange. So these are more like, if you can tell, um, you know, like a more brown, deep, with a little gray cast to it shade. And I just think that looks better on my skin when it's light. Okay, and then I also used Milani, um, their Dolce Pink. And it looks like this for blush. And there, there we go. <laughs> and it's really nice. It has like a nice shimmer to it. And um, yeah, I haven't used this in a while. So I'm glad I, I brought that out and used it. Because I forgot how pretty that is. And then what I use for my highlighter is this highlighter from... Uh, the dollar store i don't know if you guys remember that video but i really do like it and now i'm going to go into doing the under eyes with back to the huda um, palette here and i usually do the same thing where i usually start with what colors i use which was um this one here this was my transition so i kind of always mimic what i do so um, i put a little bit on that brush i'm going to tap it off and i'm just putting it all under the eye here. I'm kind of smoking it out. Okay, so I got that laid down. I'm going to go into a, a smaller brush here and I'm going to go into that burgundy shade we used. And I'm only going to bring that to about the center of my eye. And then I think I'm going to clean off the brush and use that plum one too that we also used. And I'm going to put that just on the outer 
edge of my eye. Let's go, oh, you know what? I do have like this nice liner that I thought would go with pretty with this look. And it's by um, NYX. And the shade is called, hmm, it's called Jewel. So I want to line my lower um, waterline with this. Now we can't forget about this, the uh, E. Louise. And what, I do nails. So I happen to have like this little brush here. And... I'm going to try something here because I really like the look of this. So I don't want to take away, you know, with this product here. And I think if I just kind of swiped it on, we would lose uh, what I have going on here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to load up this brush. And hopefully my eyes will cooperate and I will be able to see what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do is line right above where I put the eyeliner. That's very pretty. Yeah. That just added a little bit of pizzazz to our look. This would be great for New Year's. I like this stuff. There, You could do a lot with this. You could draw all over your face. To <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah, I will say that this applies very nice. You know, it's, it's very little effort. It's not like I'm having to keep applying more product. I just, you know, you know, you don't go so far, so you have to go get more. But um, once you load up your brush, it, it takes you, it takes it quite a, a long way. Okay, so now we still have the lipstick to try. Hopefully this uh, shade will go okay with this look. And I'm just going to wipe off the foundation off my lips and let's go in and try it i'm almost tempted i'm wondering if i should use a brush no we'll just go in yeah i don't know about this shade with this look i think that they would put <laughs> things that match here i have a plan okay so this is the shade now don't you think that they would kind of think this out and go hmm why don't we give uh, something that goes with the look here? All right. But it's a very pretty uh, shade. You know, if I would, you know, was wearing different colors, of course, this would look really pretty. I really do like this red. It's very pretty. And then um, it's very creamy. Um, you know, it's a matte, but it's not that dry matte. So I think I'm going to have to change this shade a little bit and let's see if this trick of mine works i have here by nyx and i'm going to hopefully be able to change the shade of this a little bit um but it's just a white uh shade i'm going to load up a brush here and see what it does and i'm just going to tap it all over and i'm going to clean up my brush in between because i don't want to my my white lipstick to get uh, all different shades here. Okay, I'm just going to go in with it. The brush was taking too long. Okay, it did change the, the color perfectly. So I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> all right, and I do want a little bit of gloss. And I'm just going to use here, uh, it is, I believe, my Maybelline. Um, it's they look like the this and there's just a little bit of glimmer in there and I thought with the the look this will be pretty appropriate and I'm just gonna put it pretty much on the center of my lips oh yeah that's what it looks like and a, another tip you guys just clean off this uh, wand before going back in that way you're um, the you know, it doesn't change all different colors in there. Okay, you guys, I'll be right back and we'll discuss the products. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. Um, I actually really am enjoying how this turned out. I mean, uh, that is the great thing about BoxyCharm boxes. You know, you get surprises and um, you're kind of forced into using them, you know, uh, or unless you just give them away. But I'm really glad I did try these because it, it really turned out really nice. I really do like it. Um, but I really love this topper or 
this here. I mean, that is so cool how I was able to achieve that. And like I said, also, if you uh, rub it down, it does get um, less, you know, it gets more sheer. So it'd probably be nice as just some glitter on your lid. Uh, so that's very nice. I really do enjoy this palette. Um, at first, I was a little worried because it wasn't um, blending out as much as I wanted on that transition shade. But um, for some reason, like just after a while, it did start moving. It went up to the perfect placement that I did want. So that did turn out very nice. I like that banana powder. I, I'm a little worried like I'm... I don't know if it looks too dark under here. If you guys could let me know, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys do tell, uh, can if you can tell a difference. But I really like how it looks. Um, yeah, it. Yeah, I just feel like it might be a little too deep for me. You know, I feel like it got a little dark. Um, okay, so that I love the lipstick, although it didn't go with this color theme. But I do enjoy it. It's very pretty. Um, it feels good. It's not, like I said, it's matte, but it's not that dry, dried matte. And I will let you know about the primer. It was nice. You know, it was a nice primer. Um, I feel like it does add a nice glow to your face. Um, you know, it does look, my skin does look fresh and smooth. So, um, yeah, I do like it right now. I'll let you know how the, how the, um, my foundation lasted through the day. Okay. That's it. You guys, I believe from our Boxy Charm. Okay, you guys, thank you so much if you join me today on this holiday season. Merry, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. And if you're with your families, enjoy and, and spend as much time as you can with them, especially during these crazy times. And hopefully next year um, will bring just better, better tomorrows. So again, say goodbye to Santa. We will be, putting, I'll be trying something different um, after this video. So you guys, thank you so much for those who have come and subscribed. I welcome you. I welcome all of you. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you, honestly, with all my heart. Again, Merry Christmas. Until next time, you guys.